Hello everyone, it's Susan here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is for Hashtag Tag Tuesday, hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming, and her link is below and in her description box. She will have the listing of everyone participating. So I'm super excited because I uh, I'm almost done with my envelope journal that's going to my friend and I have two more tags to make for this journal and I think I'm done I think I'm done like I'll do one more like flip through to make sure that you know I have everything I need in there and yeah so um, I'm super excited and today we're gonna work on one or two tags i'm not really sure um one of them is a really really big tag so this is five inches by eight inches and then i have this little one so i do need both but i don't know that i'll do both in this video so i started with a piece of it's actually called mulberry paper so a beautiful piece of paper and i put already i glued just a piece of you know um cardboard from from some sort of packaging so because I am trying to um, make this journal something that is going to be super special to her um, I've been trying to include some of the wallpaper that she gave to me that was her mother's so I do want to back this with some wallpaper. I mean, it's kind of weird because I don't know that there's really going to be a place to write anything on here, um, which I suppose is odd. I don't know. Um, but yeah, on this particular tag, I mean, because, you know, I'm trying to put a lot of um, spaces for her to to write and jot notes, and I hope she really uses it. I really hope so. I'm just spreading around the glue at this point. Um, I hope she uses it. I, you know, I don't know. I hope she does. Well, you know, it's up to her if she wants to actually use it or not, but I hope she does. And I'm, I'll tell her, you know, that I want her to use it for sure. All right, so I'm just getting that on there. And it's, you know, it's a fairly hefty um tag because of that piece of cardboard so right now i'll just carefully because i really stink at cutting things i'm just going to kind of go as slow as i can and already i can tell i'm not going as close to the tag as i should be but i'm just going to keep moving just going to keep moving ah uh-oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right, so that's that. Don't you just love all the little scraps that you end up with? <laughs> it's like scraps galore. It's almost time to do another crafty cluster collab. I am itching for to do more clusters. I have used a ton of my clusters that we made last year. Remember, I had the open collab last year, and oh my gosh, that was a lot of fun. We ended up going six weeks. I don't, I wouldn't do that again. It would probably only be three weeks because that's what I'm, I'm finding. I like doing collabs for three weeks. So that's, right now, that's my thing. Okay, so now I have the pretty paper on the front. I just want to see if I can trim this side down just a little bit closer without actually cutting the tag. Okay, for now that's going to have to just stay. And you know, in this particular journal, I'm not really doing any, um, you know, distressing like the edges or anything. So yeah, so it's going to stay basically raw like it is. Um, okay, there we go. We got it. We got the base of it, right? Um, I do think I am going to cut the 
the little notches and I eyeball it and I cut. Dun, 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 dun. And they're different sizes and that's cool. All right, so I do have some pieces here. I don't want to add a lot to this and I don't want... I, I don't want dimension, right? So I need it to be flat is what I need. This is just something that I had all of these like old receipts and I just print them, printed them out on my, on my printer. That's all that is. And so let's see, let's see what we can do here. Without without adding too much to it. I just want to give it a little bit of pizzazz. I also took this out, so I need to be careful what I'm going to add here. You know what? I'm going to start with this. So this is the Tim Holtz uh, collage paper, the aviary collection. And I thought this would be great to get on here because, well, I love birds and she knows I love birds because I have a parrot and so this would also bring in um, you know something that would remind her of me about me right because she's moving she's moving out of state she's moving from New Jersey down to Tennessee um, so I think that that's super pretty and you can tell you know once I have that down I'm not going to be able to add too, too much to it because, well, should I even do it the opposite way? Hmm. No, I think I have to put this down first. And all I'm really interested in is keeping those birds um, in view, right? I want her to see the birds. So I'm going to use my... Um, glue stick and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it it's kind of scary seeing that purple right <laughs> it goes away <laughs> oh my goodness all right so I'm just gonna get this down and kind of push it down and get rid of some of the excess glue stick. I know it looks so odd, right? With that purple there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know what? I think I will cut it just to get the little edges cleaned up. And this side. Okay. All right. Alrighty, so we have that. Now what? Now what? I did want to add a little bit of this. I definitely did, but I don't want anything too, too heavy either or too big. Maybe I can do something like that and then cut that, that top off of there. And um, and I can even pull a little bit, oh, I like both sides of this, a little bit of this in. You know what, and if I put this down and I decide that it's really not the look I'm going for. I'm not going to do it. Something there. See, the purple's going away. See? It's going away. Um, something there. I think this is just too big. But, um, and then I have, maybe I can go with this instead. I think I might like that better. I don't know. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking this. I don't know. I don't know. What am I to do? What am I to do? This is a digital I got on Etsy. Now that I like. That I like much better. That I like. I'm going to put this piece down because I like that a lot. So maybe I'm, I'm barking up the right tree now. Maybe, maybe. So let me tell you about my bird, Maui. Oh my gosh. Well, he's, um, he's a little guy. He is a green cheek conure, if any of you know what kind of bird that is. But he's a little guy. He's green, has pretty red tail, and he's a gorgeous little guy. But conures are very loud. They are. They're known to be loud. They are loud birds. And you guys hear Maui from time to time on my on my videos <laughs> and he's all the way at the other end of the house and you can still hear him and he's not always loud but when he's loud he's loud and um yeah like i can hear him now he's starting to to get loud again um so i got him a new cage now he is almost never in his cage he oh i like that there you liking that Ooh, I think I'm getting it now. Okay, I'm going to put it there because I like it. Um, so he's almost never in his cage. Like right now, he's just on his cage. He's outside of his cage. He just kind of, he does his thing. And, and when I'm in the kitchen, you know, he'll fly over onto my shoulder and, you know, just all that kind of stuff. So he's a tame bird and, and you know, he's, he's a good little guy. But the point being is that he is... He is almost never in his cage, but I got him a new cage. I've had Maui since 2013. And um, so his cage was getting, I don't know, uh, yucky. And um, it was hard for me to clean because it was so big. And so I got him a, a different cage. It's, it's, it is, um, taller but yet the base of it is smaller so that it will be easier for me to take apart and clean so so he has his new cage and he went in it to the first for the first time yesterday and yeah so he's getting used to it and he <laughs> he's not necessarily a happy camper but uh, yeah, he's dealing with it. And um, yeah, so, so, so he's, he's very vocal today. Um, he's very vocal today and not super, super, super happy about his new cage. Um, ooh, look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going, oh, I like that. And you know what? And I think that could be the last piece. I think that's all I need is that one little piece of flower on there. And then this tag is done. I'm going to use my adhesive. So anyway, he's getting used to the cage. I mean, I do put him in the cage at night for him to sleep. His bedtime is around 8 p.m. <laughs> yes, my bird has a bedtime. And, uh... But besides that, he's out all day long. And, you know, sometimes he comes in here and he he's with me as I'm working or, you know, as I'm crafting. Uh, let me move that over a little bit. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so that's my Maui. And he's trying to get used to his cage. I got him new toys. And everything I only put one toy in his cage I did that this morning and um, yeah so so he's trying to get used to his new home um, his new cage all right so you know you guys let me know if you want me to do a flip through of this of this um, envelope journal and and I will I don't know that I will do it 
um, unless um, everybody wants to see it. But that's how I want that tag to go is, and look at how pretty it looks with the flower. And look at that, flower, flower. Didn't plan that, but look at how beautiful that looks. And look at the color of that flower. It has that orange feel to it. Same with the, the scrap of paper. Super cool, super cool. All right, I'm not leaving it in there because I want it to dry. So I'll take it out. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next tag, and I'm going to do it quickly. It's going to be a really, really, really quick tag, is this little guy right here. This little one is just going to go in here. So we're going to just put a couple little pieces on him. And then, like I said, I'll be able to, um, to go through the journal and see if it's done, done. Okay, so I have this little guy. You know what? I'm going to pull over my, my paper. So I thought I would just take some little pieces, but you know what? Now I have these other little pieces. So I don't know that I need to make more little pieces because now I have some. So I maybe should just use what I have, right? And just put a few fun little pieces on here. I like that side better. And I could put on here one of these little pieces so she has a place to write. I think I like, well, I don't know. I mean, I'll have to cut it down, but. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me go ahead. I think I do want even a piece of this, if I can get it on there, because I do have some of that throughout the journal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this stuff down. And I don't always, I normally don't like a straight edge on, on my work. So I don't know, I might have to put something up there to get rid of that straight edge. And so if I'm gonna put that there, then I think I would use this one and maybe do something like that. Easy peasy, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Good, good, good. Uh, trim the edge. And again, at this point, I have so much um, texture, you know, like, like it's, areas that are like super thick in that journal that I have to do flat at this point because it's getting a little too chunky, a little too chunky. All right, so I did want to get this up here or somewhere. Um, you know what? I kind of like it right there. Let's just do this. So I thought maybe she would be able to write on this little piece, but once I get this down there, that's not gonna happen. Like that. And this piece, I think I'll straighten up a little bit and bring over to the other side, because it's pretty. Ooh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I like it. I like it. Um, I do feel like I need something to get rid of that harsh edge. So I'm going to go back to my little box over here. And let's see. Let's see what I could pull out. It has to be small. Um, it has to be small. Ooh, I don't like, ew, I don't know. I got, I actually threw out a whole bunch of bugs. <laughs> because I couldn't stand looking at them. I couldn't, I could not stand it. All right, I would like a flower, something that will give a, or a butterfly, some, oh, like that. Oh, that's, per, oh, there we go. Done, 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 done. 
let's get this little guy down and he's good to go and it's good to go all right so i think i'm gonna do it like that and maybe have a little bit come over the edges like that oh that's pretty right very colorful as far as this butterfly i just added brings color onto this tag i just want to get the wet off all right you know what i think i think that that's good nothing nothing crazy just a little something because again i just want to put it right in here i have a little tuck spot oh you know what i feel like it might need let me see let me grab something here um maybe just a little bit of trim Just to soften it up just a little bit. Just ever so little, ever so little. And I want it to stick up. And there we go, oh my gosh. It's amazing how adding just a little, a little bit of softness to something makes the difference yes okay so that is also done all right i like it i like it i like it just something cute she can write on the back i'm good i am good with that i think that that pops and and i like it all right i'm also going to leave this out to dry so that it doesn't stick in that pocket super cute all right so those are my tags for today and like i said i think i'm done done now with that envelope journal for my friend so i will um you know if anybody's like interested i will do a flip through there's a lot going on in it i'm just gonna tell you <laughs> I didn't edit myself very well. I was like, kept putting stuff in there. But um, okay, so this is it. These are my two tags for this hashtag Tag Tuesday. I think that they are perfect for, well, my friend and um, for the journal and I'm loving them. I think that they're super pretty. So um, thank you so much, Sherry, and I'll see you all soon. Have a blessed rest of your week. Bye-bye.